everyone welcome back to my table three today i am here in the kitchen i am going to share another super easy and delicious recipe for you off my blog it is an instant pot leek and potato soup i am making a version today that is oil free as well as it is a vegan option so there's no um animal products but you could totally add cream to this or use chicken stock but today i'll be subbing out some things like vegetable stock i will be using no oils and uh, you could use heavy cream at the end where i use almond milk so it's a very quick soup to put together it's very basic whole ingredients which are delicious and it comes together at the end you can have a hearty soup so i hope you enjoy it we're going to jump right into the kitchen and i'm going to show you first the ingredients you'll need to make it and then show you how i put it in the instant pot and get it going as always with all my blog recipes remember there is a link in the description that will take you over to the blog so you can get the whole recipe measurements included and even print it out. So check that link out below because I don't want you to have to write this down as we follow along. So let's get cooking. Quick look at our ingredients. You will need leeks. You just cut the leeks in half and you can see that it has different layers here. Sometimes leeks are known for having grit or sand between the layers. So one thing to know is cut them in half like this, flip them over so they're easier to cut and then slice them in rings like this. And then what I would do is I'm gonna put this in water, let them soak for about 15 minutes, move them around with your hands or a spoon, rinse them off, and then they'll be clean and you won't have any grit or sand in between these little layers. So there's just a tip about cleaning. This recipe calls for two of these big leeks, which is basically a leek is in the family of like a spring onion, garlic, chives, but it is just, it has a wonderful, um, onion flavor it does have a little bit of sweetness to it and it's not as strong as say like a white onion red onion or anything like that but it gives a wonderful flavor and texture to the soup then I'm doing two pounds of little gold um, potatoes there and I am going to uh, just cut quarter those or cut them in half if they're real small and put those in then I'm using one package of this tricolor coleslaw if you don't want to do that you can just use shredded cabbage but I like using this because it has carrots and stuff in it eight cups or two cartons of vegetable broth and some almond milk or coconut milk if you want it to be creamy i'm using almond milk today but if you have a nut allergy definitely use coconut milk and then i'm going to season today with some kosher salt garlic and parsley i would typically use fresh garlic sometimes but i'm out and i don't want to buy any so i am going or I'm, i don't have any and i can't go to the store right now to buy any so i'm using garlic powder and that is it. We're going to get the rest of the leeks chopped up, cord the potatoes. I'll be back and show you how to put it in our Instant Pot. Okay, so we have our potatoes washed and cubed. And you can see I have them about this small of pieces. And I'm leaving the peeling on. You can totally take the peeling off if you want to. But these little Yukon Gold potatoes, they, they are a waxy potato. So they're not as starchy. And their peelings are a lot more tender. And they work well if you don't peel them. So I'm going to go ahead and... Put those all in. If you don't have Yukon Gold like the recipe calls for, you could use any potato. I mean, some are going to be more starchy, but it won't affect the flavor of your soup. So use whatever you have. I'm not telling you to go out and buy anything. If I only had russets, I would use russets. It would be fine. I just like the taste of the gold better, and they're easier to work with the peelings on. So then I am going to add in the leeks. These have been rinsed and washed as well. And then the three cups of slaw. And this is right at my fill line. Make sure you probably need, if you're going to make this, especially if you're going to make double, you're going to need an eight quart Instant Pot just that you have room and you don't go over your fill line. So if you're making a double batch, you're definitely going to need um, a very large Instant Pot if you have a large family. But as this is heating up and coming to pressure, the cabbage and the leeks will shrink. So that will give you a little bit of room, but you still don't want to overfill your Instant Pot so it, it will safely build pressure. And it doesn't take forever. <laughs> this is, we got everything in. This is the eight cups of vegetable stock that we're adding in. Hopefully you guys can see that. And then I'm gonna add our spices, but you can do that at any point. So I'm going to add our salt. There is salt in the chicken stock, not the chicken stock, in the vegetable stock, stock. So just keep that in mind. If you are sensitive to salt, you may want to just start out with one teaspoon or half a teaspoon and then taste it later when it's done. 
just gonna do two teaspoons of garlic powder. We like garlic. You can cut it back if you'd like to. And then I'm not gonna measure, you can put two teaspoons of this, but I'm just gonna throw it in because the parsley gets a good flavor. So that is it. Make sure I'm, we're going to put our lid on, make sure you have a seal. And then I'm gonna put it on and close it, turn your valve to closed. And then let's see if we can scoot you back so you can see what I'm doing. Then I am just gonna do, I do manual. So let me find out, pressure cook on mine. So pressure cook, five minutes is all I'm gonna do because these are small and the potatoes and the leeks will not take very long. So we're gonna let this build pressure now. Cook the five minutes and then do a natural uh, release. Um, and then we'll come back. Okay, so the soup is ready. It took about 30 minutes for it to come to pressure and to count down to five minutes. And then I let it natural release for 10 minutes, which means I just let the steam slowly release. And then I did a quick by just turning the little knob down here on my Instapot and open it and letting it all out. So let me turn it down and show you the next steps for doing this leek and potato soup. Go ahead, so I'm gonna go ahead and open that. Watch out not to burn yourself. And then I am going to basically stir it around to get all the stuff combined. And now you could leave it just like this. And you can see the potatoes are still in pieces. That's one thing I like about using the more waxy potatoes is that they hold their shape um, without getting too mushy. But let me show you, they are definitely uh, tender. See, so definitely you can just mash them. So they're not gonna be tough or hard. That five minutes, if you cut them small enough, it's just enough time. And then you still have a texture in your cabbage and your leek. So you could eat this just as it is, or if you wanted a creamy element, you could add, um, I'm gonna use almond milk here, and I did put one tablespoon of flour in that just to thicken it up a little bit. That's totally optional. Um, and then I'm gonna pour my almond milk in and just mix it around. Now, if you're not trying to be vegan or dairy free, you could definitely use a heavy cream or half and half or something like that. But there's that. And I'm just gonna let this set for a little bit. You could serve this um, with crackers. You can serve it with a crusty bread. I have some uh, copycat. Oh, I think it's like Outback. You know that brown bread at Outback and stuff. I have that rising actually. I grilled my flour this morning and it is rising over there. So we're gonna bake that and have that with the soup. But you can see it's already starting to thicken up some due to that little bit of flour and also the starch in the potatoes. But it smells so good and it's gonna taste even better. I will show you um, a picture here of what it looks like with um, in a bowl with some bread. And maybe I'll come back and show you when we get ready to eat or when I serve it. But that's it, an easy leek and potato soup in the Instant Pot. It's totally vegan, oil-free. If you don't need it to be vegan or oil-free, you could definitely add the cream. Like I mentioned, you could use chicken stock instead of the vegetable stock. You could even shred up chicken, cooked chicken, and put that in here, or even some ham. That would be really good if you weren't needing it to be vegan. But we are, of course, in a great blend. So we are doing dairy-free and oil-free and no meat. So we're going to eat this just as it is, and it's going to be just as delicious. All right, guys, that is it. I hope you have enjoyed this soup recipe from the Instapot. And until the next video, we'll see you later.